What's up guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I last made a video, but now I'm back for some updates. So basically, at the end of July, I took my boards and then I waited for a week to find out my results. And after I found out my, I passed for Texas, it took about like four or five days for my license to be officially issued to me. I took like a week off and then I went on a, a trip to Seattle and a road trip to Vancouver with Ryan and uh, two of his friends, and it was it was a blast. So after that trip, um, I've been at home, I've been doing some reading about PT stuff to make sure my knowledge is still kind of fresh. And I'm reading this book called Anatomy Trains by Thomas Myers. And it's actually recommended by one of my old CIs. And I, I think it's a great read for, um, because it talks about how uh, the fascia of our body and how it connects everything and the, the, the muscles and how it forms like different lines of the body, like the front lines. Uh, the back lines, the lateral lines, the spiral lines, and all that stuff, and how kind of puts everything together and shows how the body is really connected. And that's why as a physical therapist or as movement specialists, we should really treat patients uh, with that in mind, seeing the body as a whole. And also for an examination perspective, know what, what to look for and how uh, certain deficits from one area can affect the other area, even though they're farther apart. Like the ankle can definitely affect the hip and vice versa. The book also takes a lot of influences from like different, not just from uh, anatomy and all that stuff, but also from yoga. And so that's also taught me to be more open-minded and really open to to what other other practices have to offer and just really learn everything that you can and use it to to improve yourself as a clinician. So I've, I've learned some yoga poses for stretching that can be very helpful. And also yoga can also improve a lot of the different positionings using yoga can help with um, your core strength and all flexibility, which is all very important for uh, longevity in the long term for uh, muscle health, uh, joint health, and just our whole body. I've also been trying to apply that to myself as well. I've been doing more stretching um, after workouts and making sure my muscles are not so like uptight. Uh, doing some foam rolling and all that good stuff. So, and I've been watching uh, this guy on uh, YouTube, Athlean X, Jeff Cavalier. He's actually a physical therapist as well, and he talks about the science behind the training and how um, how to target certain muscles and how to do it correctly. And I find his videos super helpful. So I've been watching a ton of them and just kind of using them for my own workouts as well. And I've they've been they've been helping. And like recently, I saw a video on how to target the rear delts, which a lot of people are lacking. And I've, I've tried this ex exercise and it, I definitely felt the burn. <clears throat> if you're into working out and stuff like that, I definitely recommend watching Athlean X on YouTube. While I'm doing all this, I'm definitely, I've definitely still been applying for jobs. And for me, I wanted my first job to be, I was interested in the inpatient rehab setting in the hospital or like an outpatient uh, department in the hospital as well. Just anything in the hospital setting where I can work with uh, different disciplines. Um, and really work as a team, and really, uh, that's that's where I want to be for my first job. So I've been looking around um, on Indeed.com, uh, LinkedIn. I think I was on Glassdoor too, just different websites, and they kind of have similar postings. But um, just every day, just kind of looking for any openings. But and I've definitely seen a lot of openings for uh, outpatient, home health, and a, a couple of sniffs. But uh, for those hospital positions. 
um, they were mostly uh, part-time positions or PRN per diem, uh, which is fine. So I was looking into applying to, if it was to be part-time or per diem, I wanted it to be a hospital system that I wanted to be a part of. I definitely prepared for my interview. Um, there are definitely questions you can look up ahead of time on Google for like potential uh, PT job interview questions and stuff like that. Make sure you get to know the hospital, a little bit, a little background on the hospital and the position that you're applying for, definitely. And, and then two days later, they, they called me back, the recruiter called me back um, and said they would like to make me an offer. And I was so excited, so thankful for, for this opportunity because I know that I will be learning a lot if I, if I accepted this position and it's just a great learning experience for me as well and how much they have to offer. But um, more details will definitely come and they're gonna email me and uh, we're gonna set up some background checks, uh, drug screening and all that good stuff. But today I actually officially signed the offer letter for my very first uh, PT job, uh, per diem position. So, and they also said that is a highly chance of becoming full-time, which I'm definitely all for. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on my, my new job in the next video with, as, as more information comes. And um, yeah, that's, that's it for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.